Quina, what brings us here? Where are we and what's happening? We're actually at the Character Media Headquarters. Um, we're very excited here tonight because, um, you know, this is the first event that we're um, putting together with Character Media um, and Golden TV. And we're here really celebrating um, all the creatives, you know, in the AAPI industry. So um, very excited, you know, to be here. Um, I actually attended my first um, UNFO just a couple months ago. And um, to be able to kind of see the community come together, um, especially, you know, celebrating a film like this, um, it, amazing. And so so just very excited to be able to kind of um, meet all the creatives that are out there um, and everybody that's here to really celebrate, um, you know, AAPI uh, Hollywood. Right. It is such an empowering uh, feeling when you see people coming together in the AAPI community, celebrating community, right? And that's why a lot of people lauded also the coming together of Golden TV mm -hmm. and Character Media. People know of Character Media because of Koream Journal and um, some of their other events, as well as UNFO, obviously their signature event every year. But people are now also interested in Golden TV. What can you tell us about Golden TV? Sure, um, I'm sure everyone knows a little bit about Chime TV. Yeah. Um, Chime TV is basically our linear platform, so everything that's on cable. Mm -hmm. Golden TV is basically, um, you know, I think of it as like, I guess the future of um, where we feel AAPI content should um, really reside. So it's anything that's streaming, um, digital and streaming is basically kind of how we describe it. Right, yeah. and people are um, excited about this because now we have our own platform, a streaming platform for all AAPI creatives, right? Yes. Um, shows culturally relevant content, right? Which is very much needed in our community. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think with you know the future of media, everything is going to be based off of content and what we can produce and, and what people want to see. Um, and for the first time in history, we now have a platform for AAPI creatives um, to really uh, showcase, you know, their talents and things like that. So we're all just very excited. I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's like this is the moment that we've been waiting for. Um, so just very excited to be a part of this initiative and, um, you know, a lot more to come. Right. And tonight is the start of that. Many more to come. Many right? more to come. Yes. Why, why did you decide as Golden TV and as Character Media to put together something like this as your first event together, supporting director uh, Ken Kwek? Well, you know, as you know, um, Ken Kwek is a uh, really renowned filmmaker, you know, in Southeast Asia. And I know he came to the States a couple months ago. And, um, you know, we thought that this would be an opportune time for um, us to not only promote his film. Um, his film is actually coming out with the uh, U.S. distribution tomorrow. So um, just a very great time for everybody to actually come together and build community around his film. This film is called uh, Look At Me. It's the story of a pair of twin brothers, one of them who's gay and one of them who's straight. And both of them are, you know, YouTubers who are not very good at uh, what they do and they're trying to attract subscribers and followers. <laughs> one day, uh, the straight brother's girlfriend invites them to go to her church. And, you know, for the first time, they are exposed to a particular fundamentalist strain of, you know, homophobia in mm -hmm. Singapore. So in sort of outrage, the straight but brother goes home and posts an angry and outrageously funny right. and foolhardy video. Uh -huh. He does it in this really, really clumsy and, you know, politically incorrect way. So it causes a media storm, it goes viral, and he gets uh, arrested and charged under a particular law in Singapore that legislates against you know, offending uh, certain religions. Mm -hmm. So once that happens, then the whole family are kind of put through the ringer of a you know, criminal justice system. Right that can be harsh and you know they, they're tried as a family to you know try and recover and also to stand up for lgbtq rights in singapore so yeah what attracted you to this story honestly it was ken 
Kind of his dogged, deter dogged determination to to see this project through. He says like he had this burning desire to to make this unproducible film, and uh, <laughs> it was just very exciting to go on that journey with him. And then when he told me it was about it was about, it's like of course on board. And he was like, "You're gonna play twins," and I was like, "Duh." <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I think as the shoot went on, you know, just like the nature of some of the themes and um, uh, the way that this story. Uh, progresses um, from all the different tonal shifts. It's, it's just like a, a, a smorgasbord of um, um, tones that, that 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 I didn't really, I haven't had, I hadn't had the chance to explore. Oh man, you know, I was just telling Ken that. Um... I loved, we were talking about the genres and the different genres pulling together and I really didn't know what to expect but I saw a little bit of comedy, I saw a little bit of action, but I did see a beautiful, beautiful authentic film and I think what really pulled it together were these actors who were incredibly real and authentic and, and credit that to the direction and to the work, you know. Um, whenever they feel something, I feel something and then the work was just really true. Uh, obviously, this subject matter, it's, 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 wonderfully poignant. I know that Ken is an incredible writer. He is one of the best out there. And this movie was banned in Singapore because of its content, just because it's a gay movie, right? So I think that it's so important that every single person out there sees this film because right now I have goosebumps. It's so good. Ken is incredible. He is going to be directing Marvel movies in a few years. I promise you he's that incredible. So check it out, Ken Quek's film. Incredible, 100%. It's incredible. I think that uh, he was so ambitious in this project and the talent of Ken Quek really shows in this film. And Yao is incredible as well. For me, what I knew about Singapore was about crazy rich Asians. And that's, I thought, oh, how fancy and everything. This showed me a different side that I never knew. And growing up, when I grew up, I grew up in the 70s and 80s, I had that fear of being beaten up because people would think I'm gay, even though I wasn't, but I'm just like, and now my kids who grew up in the same area as you, it's not, a, it's not an issue where they're at. So it's interesting to see still the differences of how pe uh, gay people are treated in other countries compared to ours. So it really opened my eyes a lot to other, you know, how, how it is in Singapore. I'm so very moved because I think I really like this movie because it speaks to me, especially the, the mom part. It's very, very uh, powerful. I think this movie is, is going to be a great, uh, like it's, it's going to speak to a lot of people. I love this movie. I am a director myself and seeing the different genres in this movie that was like displayed, it was really a journey. Um, this movie needs to get seen for representation. Uh, for the fact that it's just artistic and just, it's just really, really beautiful. I'm really impressed. I was kept on my, like the edge of my seat the entire time. And what I loved about the movie was that I didn't know where we were gonna go with it. And that's exciting. So congratulations to Ken and the team. It's beautiful. It's just a, an amazing masterpiece. I can't wait for the world to see it. The film goes out tomorrow on all these, you know, streamers and platforms in North America. So that's a start and hopefully one day, They'll go home. Yeah.